And I'll invite you. We'll do a, do a little live ski here. But yeah, I'm simple, you know? I'm not a, I don't cost a lot of money. I'm a basic dude. I'm low maintenance. I can take care of myself. Yo. What's shaking, man? I don't know why it wasn't working. I tried it like so many times. Yeah, I, I never saw it. I couldn't. I it don't kept know saying why. decline. I was like, all right, the guy wants to go solo. I respect that. No, man. I honestly, like, ever since TikTok updated, like, a couple days ago or whenever that update was when it crashed for the day, it's been weird, dude. Like, I haven't, I like, I'll get notifications my, uh... sometimes, but rarely. Yeah. You remember that day where it crashed? I don't know if it affected where you live, but I couldn't even, like, do anything on TikTok for a good day. Yeah, yeah, that's the day I'm talking about. Like, it just shut it, like, right down. It was fun. How was your day? Not bad, man. We uh, drove for, like, almost two hours this morning coming up to Toronto. And then, you know, usual traffic bullshit. So, yeah. stop and go the whole way up. Yeah, I just went the whole, like, 401, 401 all the way east or west. Uh, we actually took the QEW from Niagara right up. So, yeah, I'm not too sure what we're going to take home tr uh, tomorrow because the traffic going back to Niagara was, like, even worse. So we'll Oh, see. wait, you're in Toronto right now. Yeah, man, we're oh, – uh, I got this – there's this uh, – the good old CN no right way. there. You're yeah, good, man. like, 20 minutes for me right now. That's jokes. No way, eh? Yeah, yeah, I literally could hop in my car right now. That's jokes. Richmond Hill, man, I'd be down to go hit up a fucking bar or something. Man, we like, should. I we should grab a beer for sure. I'm definitely down to do that sometime. Dude, I'd be down too. I'm hey, doing at least a in my area, I got Uber now. Eats. Definitely got some Uber Eats in my area. So, oh, dude, I was so ecstatic to use that. Like, I I live for, like I come from a smaller town, so like, you know, I've only got pizza, pizza, and Domino's that I could get for delivery. So it. it's just absolutely yeah. hurt. For the most After parts. a while, you just get kind of sick of the same thing. Yeah, exactly. So, you come down here; it's like unlimited options. It's great. All right, so your know, beers are on me. All right, first round hey. for sure. All right, we'll rotate around. We'll yeah, switch. there we go. There we go. That's the That's plan. Great. Yeah, I gotta put a TikTok right, so. tonight. I gotta put it together, but you know, like I just have days where I'm like not motivated. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, I, I have those a lot, too. Like, you know, especially, like, after work or whatnot, you're exhausted and you just don't want to do anything. But it's, like, that's where it comes down to, like, don't force it because it's, like... Yeah, no, the moment you force it, I feel like people can tell. They're, like, yeah, he's definitely making Bye. a video right now. He's not feeling it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. No, at least you have an excuse. You got work, right? I got... Uh, I don't have work, so I really have no excuse not to be able to do this, but... Uh, oh it's all right you don't need an excuse so you know if you're not feeling it you're not feeling it you no know, sometimes i just like to go live versus like make a tiktok i don't know no i feel that yeah like lives are <laughs> lives are definitely more enjoyable you know like it's not bad putting together a video and throwing it out there but going live is pretty fun yeah for sure so you're back at back to niagara tomorrow yeah we leave i think checkouts like 11 or something and then uh we might go and try and see Toronto Island or something quick, but Do it I think sure. we're going yeah, uh, head back. Yeah, yeah, we'll probably go there too, but I don't know. We'll see. We're, we're kind of just winging it at this point. It's you and mom? Uh, yeah, my mom, my sister, her friend, and then, uh, and then I'm here too, so. Look at that view too. You have to see in tower oh, yeah. right outside. Like, wow. Yeah, man. Here, I'll, uh, mm. I'll switch it for a sec. But yeah, it's not too, uh, not too bad. Got the CN Tower right there. Uh, we're right on King Street, so King Street would be, like, over there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I actually know exactly where you are. That's so good. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all turned around. I don't know Toronto too well, but... Are there good bars in Niagara, or, like, you come to Toronto? There are some pretty decent ones in the area. Oh, I just turned my wall all the way down. My bad. Um, but, yeah, there's some pretty decent ones in uh, the area. Whoa, what the fuck? But... Um, Nothing like really that compares to Toronto. So yeah, no, Toronto you know, is, if you uh, want like more of like a party kind of vibe, like yeah. with a bigger crowd, you come to Toronto. But 
Richmond? It's like Richmond, Hoa. You got like the bars, but there's no like party vibe. It's more just like. No, exactly. Chill. Yeah. I mean, listen, at this point, I'd rather go like, I'd rather bar than like a club with like 400 people, you know? Oh, me too. Like, the bar is just a different kind kind of vibe. Like, you go, you have a couple drinks, you're like, you know, you're just shooting the shit and like still having yeah. a good time. Yeah. The club, sure. it's like, man, like, when it's shoulder to shoulder, it's not like it's like everybody's like, you know, just vibe and having a good time. Like people like start becoming assholes. Like everybody starts like being aggressive, throwing elbows, you know, just being dicks. It's like, what, yeah. what are you yeah, doing? No, all just sure. here Especially to have a good like time. the late hours of the night when they've been, uh, you know, drinking for a while and it's like 2.30 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the same vibe. It's no, not it's not. Vibe. Not at all. Not at all. All right. Well, at some point, man. Someone's like, you gotta go drive up there right now. He's with his family. Come on, I got respect for him. I'm not gonna jump in, but yeah, at some point, beers. Oh man, I've you. been, I've been hearing uh, comments from it since I got up here. People were saying, oh, you guys should meet up. He's, yeah, uh, he's man, we're Toronto. so close. Like, why not, right? So yeah, exactly. Close. Might as well. You got a whip as well. I do. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we'll figure something out, man, for sure. Yeah, man, that sounds good. At this point, I'm just. Uh, I'm just getting ready for my Vegas trip, but maybe when I come back, uh, I'm just gone for a week. When I come back, we'll figure something out for sure. Yeah, that'll be sweet. Fuck what's Vegas, the plan? enjoy what's that. What's the plan for the next, uh, or the rest of the night? Not much, man. You know, we're just, uh, we're just taking it easy, really. Might, might take a little adventure at some point. Like, the rain's, rain's held off right now, so. I literally I'll haven't see. left my house today. So, no way. Yeah, just chilling. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't done anything. I've just been one of those days. So I did a live at 3 a.m. last night. Oh, Somehow shit. there was like 150 people in it. I don't know how. I guess the time difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the live ended at like 4.35 a.m. And then I had to check my TikTok notifications. So like I went to bed at like 6.30 at least. Holy shit, late uh, night, man. Heard the birds chirping and then... Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then woke up at like 2 p.m. Like, yeah, my sleep schedule is so off. So off. But it That's is a struggle, is. man. Like, and then once it's off for one night, like, it's it screws it for like the next couple days, too. Yeah, especially when you got to wake up early to like actually go somewhere. And you're like, oh, oh yeah. Cool. You're like, fuck. Really? Fuck. Yeah. It's a struggle. If someone's like, Canadians, why do you guys use A so much? Hey, listen. It's just, uh, it's part of our natural lingo. Yeah, it's part of our vocabulary. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure, like, I know not all Americans do it, but I'm pretty sure, like, their thing is, like, ha. Huh. Yeah, like, yeah, They exactly. say ha, huh, like, we say a. Yeah, well, I'm half American, so I got the American lingo, too, I guess, but. Do you? Yeah. Do you have the, uh, the dual citizenship? I do, yeah. You do? Right yeah. on. Are your rents from Canada? Yeah, yeah, they're both from Canada, yeah. But uh, my grandparents on my uh, my dad's side are uh, they're eight from the Netherlands, so nice. They were uh, they were very Dutch, Holland. very Dutch. Okay, have you been? Yeah, I've never been. Um, I'd love to go out, but yeah, I've never been. Never hey, we gotta do a trip to Amsterdam. That was probably I've gone like four times already. Dude, Amsterdam! I had a buddy who backpacked around there for a bit, and he loved it. It's amazing, it. like the, just the vibes, the parks, they're they're great. And uh, yeah, I got a friend who actually lives in like Rotterdam, which is like near it. All right. And uh, yeah, I would say my favorite two places in the world are Netherlands and Greece. You gotta go to Greece, Greece too, eh? Oh, You've been you to gotta, Greece? Yeah, you gotta island hop in Greece for sure. Oh, that would be sweet. Yeah, I think you'd that have would a be sick. Do it oh. while you're young, before you get my age. Yeah, that's the bucket list. That's on the bucket list for sure but uh, Got it. yeah traveling something too bad we can't yeah. do a lot of it no exactly and like it kind of sucks now because like you know my dad did it all uh out of right out of university he traveled for a while but like the world's not the same like it was then as it is now so it's like you know you still could do it but it's like it wouldn't be the same so that's the thing like i was gonna go to greece and italy this summer but i'm like i don't want it to be like half of an experience i want it to be the full experience so who knows yeah like, just even having to bring your mask and go into a restaurant or whatever it is, it's just like exactly, just the hassle, the hassle. Yeah, it but, sucks. Hey, it listen, sucks. like even Canada's getting a bit better. Bars opened up, restaurants you can now eat inside. Like yeah, it's a slowly bit but better. surely we're uh, we're getting there. The one day where the masks are not mandatory when you walk inside of a store, 
Um, oh, I'm going to party so hard that day. Yeah, or even just going into a bar and, like, not having to wear one. Like, I just, it feels like it was so long ago, and we're, we're losing out. We're losing out on that time. I know. But I know. It it's sucks. all getting better. So. Yeah, hopefully enjoy. soon. Hopefully sooner than later. And my dad was in Florida for six months, and he's like, literally everything's open. You wouldn't even know. I'm like, oh, okay. shit, yeah. Just a, Man, even, like, thing. Even in BC, I'm pretty sure they just lifted their like the uh, the mandatory masks, I'm which sucks. You, Cause Ontario. like I was just there, and like as soon as I get back, I find that out, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Fuck. Who'd you go to BC with? Uh, my dad, and my sister. We did a, a little road trip through the Rockies, so that was pretty cool. Did you go to um, Alberta while you're on the west? Yeah, we saw like we saw Banff and uh, and Jasper, but that was uh, that was all we saw from Alberta. So check this out. This is a crazy story. Um, I, I went to the West Coast to visit my friend who lives in Vancouver. This is last summer. Right. And uh, we're like, let's do a road trip to Alberta. So I was like, all right, let's do it. So he drove. And obviously, like, it was like, I don't know, 18 hours to get there. We did yeah. Banff. We did Jasper. And a uh, great trip. And on the way home, um, another 18 hours to get home. And we were probably like, at this point, five minutes away from his home after doing like 30 hours of driving and yeah. i said to him and this is the power of manifestation i said to him i was like we've just traveled for like 35 hours imagine like now we get pulled over or like now like we get into an accident literally in the span of like a minute since like after i said that um an f-150 like crossed over our our lane, we went, we T-boned him completely. Like he just, and the uh, car was totaled. I went right to the hospital. It was insane. Like, holy shit, man. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm lucky insane. to be here. Um, holy fuck. But like, that's the crazy power of manifestation is I put it out there. I put it out in the atmosphere. Yeah, and, man. Uh, and we were so close to his house after 30 hours of driving that we literally just walked home because the car was totaled. That's fucked. So, uh, that's fucked, man. That's crazy how shit like that happens sometimes. So that was my trip to the West Coast. No, but it's a, it's a fun time. I really like it. And the people are so chill compared to Toronto. Oh, I know. Yeah. It's a way different vibe. Way 100%. different vibe. 100%. Like the whole atmosphere is just like positive. Like everybody's like in a good mood. Everybody's just like thriving and vibing. It's great. I hear the East Coast is like that too. The East Coast is great too. Yeah. We've been out to PEI. And that was probably, that's up there on one of my favorites, too. It's great. That's on my to-do list. I feel like the list is so long of, like, where I want to go. Oh, man. Have you ever been to Boston? No, I've never been to Boston. Dude, I'm telling you, Boston is way different, too. Like, Boston's great. The people there are super nice. Like, you know, it, like, it's insane. It's just a great time. And the food's fantastic. Like they yeah, I just think of the Bruins fans. Food. That's what I think of. The Bruins fans? Oh, yeah. man, my dad yeah. would hate it. <laughs> he would hate that. Yeah, I pull out my, like, Toronto Maple Leaf phone case, and they're just looking at me like, can you get what out of here, fuck? please? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, the food's the good in Boston? What's that? You said the food's good in Boston? It was pretty good, yeah. Okay. It was good. Because uh, have you ever watched that show? I think it's called, it was called Big Tuna. Oh, I've heard of or, it. Like, Okay, yeah. so yeah, so like they filmed that show out of, um, I don't know, it's somewhere near Boston, like it's in that surrounding area, and uh, the hotel that we actually stayed at while we were uh, like on our way up was uh, at the same marina that like all of their bo boats were stored, so you know, we were out yeah. at the, uh, the hotel restaurant just eating, and then we uh, were like, wait, that voice sounds familiar, and we turned around, and you know, like there's a a whole group of them from the show that's just sitting at the table, you know, eating dinner. I'm like, that's fucking sweet. So we just got casually, pictures. Just hanging out. Well, that was pretty cool, but that's great. Yeah. Who, which, uh, which celebrities have you met just from, uh, like randomly? Someone oh, asked fuck. me that question. I was like, I don't know if I've ever met like, Man. you know, yeah, that's a good one actually. Yeah, so everyone's like, everyone's got a story. Like I was on an airplane, I was sitting beside like, I don't know, Brad Pitt. I'm like, I literally don't think I've ever met one. Yeah. Right. I don't, I don't really have any like that either. Like, you know, I've met a couple like hockey players at like, you know, meet and greets and stuff, but I've never like ran into anybody. Yeah. 
See, that's oh, our yeah. luck right there. Maybe. I know. We're putting it out there. Watch the more you're walking down Toronto streets and just walk by, like, I don't know, Ashton Kutcher. He's just like, yo, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be something. That would be Hilarious, sweet. Hilarious, man. But my, uh, my dad, he works at the uh, the Peace Bridge in Fort Erie. Um, so, you know, he's had a whole bunch of uh, celebrities at some point come through his line and he's had to deal with them. So, you know, it's pretty cool hearing his stories every now and then when uh, he met? Who comes through but yeah my dad just bought or my dad's buying a place in Fort Erie um I don't know how oh, no far way. that is from where you are wait did you say Fort Erie yeah oh man that's not far from me at all like I'm like 10 minutes from Fort Erie no way yeah he just uh he's well right now he's about to purchase some like cottage area there and uh it's like yeah, I was like, all right, I'm going to definitely come by. So when I hit up oh, my man. dad's place, I'll, I'll link up. For sure, yeah. It's a chill area, especially if you're uh, if you're getting a cottie down there. Um, you know, it's great for that. It's uh, not chill, though, when you're, looking for, uh, when you're looking for Uber Eats. That's when it's not chill. Yeah, very yeah. true. That's when you're struggling trying to find food, and then you got to go very to a pizza or pizza. Yeah, pizza. You're, uh, you're kind of pooched there. Like, you know, like you can order it, but you got to go pick it up. Like, for delivery, you're kind of fucked kind of so well you gotta take advantage when you're actually there's some really good restaurants in toronto what's that like really good restaurants in toronto you should try uh there's some a place called maker's pizza apparently it's like the best pizza in canada oh man i actually saw that on uber eats and i skipped by it no like, way oh. yeah i was gonna drive to like to maker's pizza just to try it i'm like that's a mission for pizza yeah yeah for pizza yeah i, I love how you that. skipped it over you're like no no something else i know i didn't i didn't even know it because i heard nothing of it at the time so i'm like ah fuck it like so what'd you get instead cool. let me get sushi no no i'm actually not a huge sushi guy man I, i'm not a huge sushi guy i got uh i got some hot wings and garlic bread from the uh the wing factory i'm pretty sure it was called oh nice yeah it's pretty it good. All? no i got i got a dinner or a meal for two um so you know, I crushed about like three quarters of it, but there's still probably about like you know five or eight wings sitting in the uh, the box. You got some fridge, breakfast so. for tomorrow when you wake oh, up. Oh yeah, yeah, or even a snack tonight. Yeah, we'll exactly. see. At some point before bed, you'll be like, hmm, I could really go for some wings right now. Yeah, exactly. The uh, man, cold wings. I don't know, personal preference, but I find like the uh, hot wings cold are like kind of better. Like spicy um, wings, but like cold. Yeah, like when they've been in the fridge for like a couple hours and it's like, oh, they hit different, man. I've never tried that. Yeah, I should try that for sure. Dude, they are like, it's phenomenal. I'm you're, you're inspiring just, me right now. I'm going to buy hot wings, put it in the fridge, and then just eat it later. Yeah, dude, do it. I've done that so many times. I'm not even joking. No way. So many times. See, I like cold pizza. Cold pizza, I don't mind. Cold pizza? Yeah, I can fuck yeah. with cold pizza. But like it's a hit or miss sometimes you eat cold pizza and you're like that's disgusting yeah yeah it depends on where it's from because like sometimes when it's cold like it it just feels like soggy and it's like yeah that's nasty but some places like hold their texture all the way through yeah all right well we'll figure out a time man we'll figure out a time when i'm back from vegas um go for some beers and yeah uh, man for sure people are ready i'm loving the bromance right now it's so funny fuck yeah yeah, I was telling them that, like, before I even made a TikTok account, I would always just kind of, like, scroll on TikTok and just check out people's stuff. I didn't have right. an account. And right. I, I would watch your stuff. I'm like, yeah, this guy's a gem. And I think he's, like, I think he's from Toronto. I was, like, looking. So it's cool to be able to talk to you, man. And uh, I like what you're doing. I like how you're spreading a lot of, like, positivity. People love you, man. Yeah, and, I appreciate uh, it, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, I know. You know, it's up, great man. to uh, have you coming along the journey now, too. You know, there it's great go, to uh, incorporate you. Yeah, apparently people are setting up bunk beds. We're going to start a reality TV show. Or something. <laughs> oh, man, I can see it. I uh, Somebody did, like, a little edit, and they threw, like, the Friends theme song over it, too. I and like, I, You know what? Like, with the Friends theme song over it, I'm like, I could see this. I could I actually could see, it, see it. I think we get some viewers for sure. Oh, yeah, that would be <laughs> that would be interesting, man. That would be pretty cool. All right, bro. We'll have a good night. Thanks for joining. We'll yeah, thanks for tonight. coming in, man. All righty. Cheers, bro. Cheers. We're back. We're back. You'll have to ditch your no more new friend shirts.
I'm gonna keep that shirt. I love that shirt. It's great. It's a good shirt. Fuck was that noise? Do you guys hear that? It sounds like a dolphin's going nuts outside the fucking the hotel here. Which friend would you be? I don't know. Like I feel like I don't really like mix with any of like the existing characters. I just have to be somebody new who's thrown on there and who's got their own like, you know, thing. That would that would be me. I don't know if I'd really match with anybody but i don't know what do you guys think if i was going to be anybody in uh if i was going to be anybody in the friend show or series who would you who would you think i'd be personally i don't think i match with really anybody i think i'd have to be like you know joey joey how you doing how you doing You know what? I'd like to play Joey. Joey would be a fun character to play. I think I could pull that off. Chandler. Rachel, what the fuck? A new character. Phoebe? What do you mean, Phoebe? What do you mean? Huh? No. Oh. Okay. Wow. Mr. You can take it. Are you enjoying the time with the teenagers? Yeah, it's great. Maybe I can play it here soon. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. It's time to call our night. So, you know, we'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully, we can get a little bit more done with the uh, the weather. But you know, if not, then it's still been a good time so far. So I'm enjoying it. But yeah, as always, thank you for the PayPal's and the gifts, and thanks for tuning in. Look at, there's Ma. Caitlin is out there singing O Canada because the they turned the red light on the sand tower. Oh yeah. Look at that, they turned the red light on. Nice. Very cool. They all say hi. Hi everybody. Hi guys, hi guys. Alright. Peace out everybody. Hope you have a great night. Much love. Sleep well. And we'll chat later.